Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. As you can see, the sun is finally out. It is absolutely roasting gorgeous and me and Luna are sitting here and enjoying every minute of it. So I wanted to talk today about positive thinking. You know, and a lot of people think that this is a gimmick and it's not a gimmick. The power of positive thinking can't be underestimated. You know, it is very important because it will definitely pave the direction that your path in life will go through. And sometimes the path, you know, that we walk in life can be a very difficult path. We all face very difficult challenges every single day. But there's always a chance for hope. There's always joy. And there's always the choice to be able to move your life in a new direction, in a more positive direction. So when your thoughts are bringing you self-doubt and negative thinking, positive thoughts and developing a positive thinking mindset can bring you back to a place of well-being. It can give you a sense of peace and hope and optimism for things that you want to change in your life. There's many ways in which we can develop positive thinking. Affirmations are, without a doubt, one of the best ways. But other people might use the power of prayer, meditation, mindfulness. But in my experience, I have found affirmation to be one of the most powerful ways to reset your thinking, especially if you're someone who obsesses over negative thoughts or you have very you have a lot of self-doubt and criticisms that run through your mind every day and just like anything else it's a skill that we need to learn and just like any other skill it takes practice and it takes repetition but by doing it over and over again every day you will develop and build up that skill and before you know it, you'll just be doing it automatically, just like the way you would drive a car or anything else that you learn to do. Self-doubt and negative thinking, it keeps you blocked in your life and it will keep you stuck. You won't be able to move forward. So the more doubt that you're experiencing and the more you should use affirmations and mindfulness techniques to really drive that message home to your mind that you want to change that you don't want to keep thinking that way and you want to start building new patterns so positive affirmations are really the same thing as a mantra it's where you have a positive statement and you repeat it over and over again in your mind when the best times to do it is when you are alert to those thought patterns that are running through your mind and as soon as you catch them you start to say the mantra and you start or start to say the affirmation and to override that thought that's coming in and you keep doing it until that thought passes through because the thought won't stay unless you take a hold of it and start to run along with that thought and get into all different sorts of scenarios. So as soon as you start to notice any self-doubt, criticism, negative thinking coming in, you start to say the mantra. You can buy affirmation books or you can get cards. Cards are really good because you can carry them everywhere. You can pull one out, you know, you can keep them in your car or keep them at your desk and they're really good and you can change them every day. Now you don't have to use different affirmations. You can use the same one. You know, if you find that you can help, it's individual, it just depends on yourself. And the process of the mantra, the affirmation, is you just say it over and over in your mind, you know, until that thought disappears. Now, if it's a particularly stubborn thought, or one that, that's hypercritical, maybe like it's an obsessive one that's continually coming back, say the mantra quicker, and say it as if you're saying it louder in your mind, to really drive the message home to your mind that you don't want to run these patterns anymore, that you're going to overlay every time with something positive. 
So what we're trying to do here is to re-educate your mind to come out of negative thinking because sometimes when we've done it for a very long time it's so ingrained so that's why you really want to drive the positive mantra or the positive affirmation home and keep repeating them every single time that you become aware or you feel scared or fearful about a situation or a person or it's self negative talk self doubt drive those mantras home and keep repeating them and after a while you will start to see a change you will start to see those negative thoughts coming less and less it'll take a bit longer for the more obsessive ones you know the harder ones the ones that maybe you're a bit more fearful about but keep doing it over and over and you will start to see a change it's an extremely effective especially if you suffer from you know overwhelming fears overwhelming self-doubt lack of confidence they're very very good to start to change the patterns of your thinking to much more positive thinking and they really do work they are absolutely not a gimmick at all i have used them and i've used them to great effect and i know many other people who have as well because once you start to change that mindset from negative to positive, it changes your whole life, it changes your outlook in life, it changes how you interact with people, how you deal with situations, because you're not always thinking that things are gonna fail or you're gonna make a mistake or that person's not gonna like you or you can't do it. It shifts that, it stops that from coming up. And the sooner you catch it in your thinking, the quicker you can get rid of it. Now, as I said, you can memorize one particular mantra if you really like a specific one, and you can do that all the time, no matter where you are. And that's a great thing about affirmations and mantras. It doesn't matter where you are, in a car, in a bus, a train, at your work, in the house, in your bed, whatever, you can do it in your mind, and you can do it for as long as you need to. And that, they're really brilliant for that. If you're facing any challenges out in your everyday, you just start saying the mantra in your mind. And the more obsessive or the more stronger the mantra is, then you be more powerful. Realizing that your sense of self-worth and identity is very much caught up in how you think. How you think about everyday world, the people in it, yourself. So by changing that thinking and that mindset, it'll change all your ideas and your outlook about how you move and navigate around in the world every day. It's very much tied up to your security and your safety and how you feel about that within your world. So obviously the more negative you think, the more insecure, the more unsafe you feel, and the, but the more positive affirmations you bring in then you will start to see a change, you'll start to feel more secure because you're developing new patterns and new networks in your brain and basically you're just teaching your brain to think differently, to come out of the negativity and come into the positivity. And the more you focus on your affirmations and your mantras, the more you pay attention to that, then the more that will drive out that negative thinking and that fear and that doubt and it'll become less and less over time. So until next time, take care and enjoy the sunny weather. Bye.